Hello everybody. Welcome back to Sketch This. Inktober's over with and we're starting a new week in November. So I thought we would do something really cool and I've already got uh, all the stuff here set up for a really quick sketch. Um, we've got ourselves here a uh, set of Prismacolor watercolor pencils set of 24 and our pencil mechanical pencil with a racer our micron inking pens and tan paper it's a um, the uh, Strathmore toned tan so uh, what I thought we would do for a scene or you know it's fall and we're in November and we could do like a um, a fall setting some trees and maybe like a road and a stream some rocks some grasses stuff like that use the um, the color pencils here and the ink let's uh, let's see what we can do here hey guys battery died I've got a new camera and I'm trying to figure this thing out last night I was trying to get this thing going get a new sketch going this one right here I've done the sketch for this drawing and in the meantime while I was recording um, I was like we're gonna get this thing going I looked up and the little battery icon was going I was like oh no come on so I had to pause everything I was doing because I was ready I thought yeah we're gonna have to cut this thing up in pieces and set it aside so took the battery out charged it overnight as you can see different shirt new day it's dark outside um, man this time of year it is hard it's hard to do anything it's it, it's dark outside it's it's raining it's cold it's wet it's I mean I just want to go to bed but we're gonna press on um, like I said I've got the um, I've got the sketch ready to go here um, I've got my microns um, I've got what Prismacolor colors I think I want to use here um, they're pretty much um, the colors I think we may need for the fall scene we're going to get started here and ink this thing up and color it let's get going Okay, I'm gonna continue doing this and we'll come back and show you what it looks like okay so we're back and I have done all the inking now for this 
And let's see if we can get you in a little bit closer here. So I have went in and done a lot of very, very, very intricate detail to everything. So it turned out really, really good. I'm very pleased with the way the inking turned out. Um, went ahead and put some shadow and shading cross hatching down here into the rocks. I used um, the point O2, the point O3, and the point O5. The point O5 on the back trees right here, point O3 on the ground and the back of the trees back here, and then the point O2 on all the cross hatching and the very very fine twigging on all the um, branch structure and all the bark structure of the trees itself so now what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my Prismacolor watercolor pencils and we'll go ahead and give some color to this see what we can make out of this I think we're going to do as much color as possible but I'm not going to try I'm not going to try to go overboard on this um, like I said we're trying to go for a fall scene we'll do as much color as possible but I think with um, with this toned paper we may uh, we may not be able to do as much color as I'd like so let's get started on that
kind of blend that together. And I'm gonna leave an area. Let's see, we focus. So I'm gonna leave the top like as highlight. So I hit the bottom with the blue and then I'm going in with the 50% gray, this right here. And I'm blending it with the blue into the tone of the paper and it's creating that highlight effect. So it's looking pretty good. finished. Thanks for watching. Another one soon. Talk to you later. Bye.